Howdy, howdy. Look at this. 1998 Mitsubishi 3000 GT. We have gone and taken out the gas tank. Now this thing has been such a hassle. Uh, between the three lines here, one of which we had to cut, uh, and also the EVAP lines, uh, we also had to cut these as well. Uh, and then this thing certainly wasn't helpful. Um, in addition to that, we had to uh, unbolt the fuel pump assembly itself. Uh, we had two bolts that sheared, but I think it's going to be fine. We can try to use some uh, weld or try to remount on those. Um, but we finally got the gas tent out. So, if you're doing this on a newer 1998 Mitsubishi 3000 GT, okay, there's some pointers here. First off, just note, let's note the how many bolts. Now, we're using uh, some of this from a previous video that we watched um, that's on YouTube. That was helpful, but it was for an older model of 3000 GT. So, you're going to have the same two bolts, whether it's a newer or older model. You're going to have two bolts in the front and then three bolts one two three in the rear okay now ours were pretty rusted and it it took a lot of effort to get these out so you're going to need a large wrench with a really deep socket um just enough room for this one this is going to be the hardest bolt um that's going to be the front would be driver's side bolt there this next one's going to be your next hardest these three in the rear are pretty easy because they have the least amount of road use or you know road debris that's going to be hitting those so again five bolts to total two in the front three in the rear now there's some side bolts you do not touch those do not touch the side bolts now of course that is after you've taken out the fuel pump assembly the fuel pump assembly is very simple um, all you do is take out um, these these bolts here and there's a wire that is going going through here um, that's connected um, actually that goes into here and also goes into your fuel pump assembly and that's all you do is take it and push it out out and up now with ours <laughs> ours is also annoying too we kind of had to just pop it out um, so if you can't get it to work you can't get it to work it is what it is that's what you're doing with these old cars here now on the newer versions you're also going to have this plug now you access this plug let me show you what we have right here you access this plug right here you'll see it again once you take let me show you the wheel here's the wheel um, this is the passenger side wheel um, again you're gonna have to unhook this there's those two wires that I mean there's there's two uh, evap lines that we saw and here's this wire that's gonna be leading down it's gonna look just like this one of which you're going to be able to access from the top, which is going to be where your um, ex auxiliary tire is going to be, your, your fifth tire. Uh, and then this one is going to be connected into the fuel tank. And this one was a bugger. This is a clamp I've never seen before, but essentially there's a metal wire that's around it. And you just pop that metal wire off, this comes off, and you're home free. So that's easy. Again, this section is pretty simple. Um, it's just not really a lot of room. And so we kind of had to uh, cut these wire, I mean, cut these hoses. We're just going to replace them anyways. Um, and that way we don't have to worry about any you know, seepage or anything leaks um, continuing. So now there's one, one last hose that we found that was a, uh, a big issue here. Um, the big issue hose, and this one's kind of hard to see, is... This one, this one's gonna be back. You'll see these two. It's gonna be along with this other line here uh, that goes to the fuel tank assembly. Um, this one is really hard to see, it, really hard to find. It's all the way up in here and you will not have any access underneath the car, okay? No access underneath the car, but you will have just a little bit of access up under here. Here's, again, we're, we're done with the tire. Up under here, you'll have just a li little bit of room just accessing it there. And that's what I highly suggest in order to get this thing out. Now, we're gonna wire wheel this. We're gonna sand it down, put some undercoating with primer, of course, uh, empty out the fuel tank. But look, this one, this fuel tank, luckily, is in really good shape. So we don't have to worry about that. So hopefully you liked the video. I have a simple five-minute video for you guys. Thank you so much. Be sure to like and comment. And you guys have a good one. Bye.